All right, welcome back, guys, and let's just get started here. We're going to talk about something called representing patterns. We're going to be using tables and counters um, to make patterns and pattern rules. So here's a pattern. Uh, I have a table, and then I have figure, uh, a column of figures, figure one, figure two, figure three, and that'll make more sense as I, as I progress here. That's talking about some pictures we're going to make. And it's also talking about how many counters, you know, things that you count, those little round circles, colored, um, that they might be in that figure. And you might see that this, the counters in the figure, they increase by two each time. So we can use counters to build patterns in different ways. So I, I put that table back over there so to remind you, and this is pattern one. And you can see now we have figure one, and I'll circle that for you. This is figure one, and figure one is talking about here. So when we built the table, um, that is figure one. It's got one counter in the figure. And when we get to figure two, we're talking about this here. And you can count, you know, one, two, three counters, okay? Figure three, you can see there's five counters, and figure four, there is seven, okay? So each figure has two more counters than the figure before it. Well, here's another same, same table, but I did the counters in a different way. You can do it however you want, but you can put the counters a different way. And so you can kind of see that Again, it starts with one counter, and we still have the same table, but the one stays on top and it kind of grows. You kind of see that, right? So let's just double check here, you know. Let's just go to figure two. Here's figure two. Does figure two have three counters? One, two, three. Yes, it does. Does figure three have five counters? One, two, three, four, five. It does. So this is the same pattern. It's just drawn a different little way. So again, each figure has two more counters than the figure before. From the table, or from the counters that we built, either or, we can make a pattern rule for the numbers of counters in a figure. So we're only talking about this column right here, okay? We're making a pattern rule from that. So we would say you start at one and add two each time. Well, to find the number of counters in figure 10, so what I'm saying here is maybe you know, we're going all the way down to 10. What is, if we kept the table going, what, how many counters would be in that figure? So we can use that pattern rule again. Remember, start at one, add two each time. And so here we have four, we ended at four. So the fifth one um, would be nine. So here's, this is the fourth term, fifth term, six, seven, eight, nine. And so if we skip count by twos each time, we're going up two each time we get to the 10th figure or the 10th term in the pattern and there's 19. So we can say that there would be the number 19, 19 counters in that pattern if it continued. And I drew that um, as if from the pattern one, you can kind of see that L shape there. And same with the pattern two where it was just kind of extending out. There's 19 counters total. All right, I'm gonna get you to try one. I have uh, a table there and you can see the figure numbers. So we're gonna use counters to build this pattern. So maybe you could draw it on a piece of paper or a whiteboard or whatever you got handy there. And we gotta use the number of counters in each figure. And I'd like us to write a pattern rule. And I'd like us to use that pattern rule to find out how many counters would be in the eighth figure. So that's a little bit to do. So I'm gonna get you to pause right here and come back when you think you have an answer. All right, so the first figure has four counters, so I'm just going to do that. Now, the way I arrange these counters, um, really it depends on you. Um, it, it does look like I wouldn't make different shapes each time. I would continue build upon what you have. So let's say that's figure one. Here's figure two has eight, two, three. Now, again, you could have done a different shape. Okay, so that's the same as before. Uh, I'm going to increase it. I'm just going to do these row kind of idea here. So maybe I should label this. So this is figure one, this is figure two, and let's do figure three. Figure three has goes up by another, oh, another four. So, this is a lot slower than drawing, I gotta tell ya. Maybe I should have drawn it. <laughs> Um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So here's my figure three. Okay. 
And now I gotta do figure four. Now um, I'm gonna have to go onto the table a little bit, but that's okay. So one, two. I'm gonna have to press over here. So it's four, six, ten more, eight. That's ten. Hope I have enough room. Twelve, fourteen. And 60. Now the reason I didn't, I'm didn't, i pressing it so close, uh, on the smart board, if I drag it onto the table, it's going to suck it in, so I didn't want to do that. So anyways, that's figure four. Okay, so we drew out the pattern. Now, what is the pattern rule for the counters in a figure? And we're talking about this row here, okay? Um, we're never going to do this column here because it's always start at one and add one each time, which is kind of boring. Um, so let's look at the counters in a figure. The pattern rule would be start at four. And if you can see here, it went up by four. And here it went up by four. And here it went up by four. So we seem to add four each time. Okay, so that's, that's the second question. Third question, how many counters would be in the eighth figure? Well, I'm going to write this as a list. Maybe that's easier. Um, maybe we'll a different color here. So 4, 8, 12, 16. I'm going up by 4. So this is the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th. So the number of counters in the 8th figure would have been 32. All right, my friends, that's it. We're just using counters, building some patterns for them and, and connecting them to tables. And I remember, it doesn't matter which one you like to use, uh, either one works, but you can make pattern rules from either or, and we can use them to find out later figures or later um, things you wanna know in the tables. All right, guys, remember, in life, math happens. Take care. <music>